This is a mutton bird rookery. A rookery is what we call a group of burrows together. This is a mutton bird burrow that has been scratched out by adult mutton birds. If you look closely, you can see footprints made by the adult mutton birds in the sand. These are adult mutton birds in their burrow. Soon, the female mutton bird will lay one white egg in the burrow. This is a fluffy baby mutton bird that has hatched from the egg. Another name for a baby mutton bird is a chick. The baby mutton bird is covered in down. The down helps to keep the baby mutton bird warm. Each day, the adult mutton birds fly out to sea to feed mainly on krill. The adult mutton bird regurgitates the krill to feed the chick. The chick will lose its down and grow feathers. The chicks flap their wings to get ready for flying. Flapping strengthens the wings and helps the chicks to lose their remaining down. Cowan Coop, come on. You've got to show me where to go. Uncle Happy. <laughs> come on. Mutton birds are very important to Tasmanian Hello, Aborigines. This is Rocky. Three. He's a Tasmanian Aborigine and knows a lot about mutton birds. We've got one to come. Come on, Coop. Um, in the hole. In the hole? Yeah. Which one? That one? Yeah. You going to get it? No, you get it. Well, I'll get it. All right. Yes, you get it. You find Let's it. hope he's there. What's that? A mutton bird. Won't come back to land again until he's five, because that's when they breed. So he'll be on the water from the time he leaves here to the you know, time he comes back. So he'll spend all his time on the water until it's ready to come and have a little baby himself. They're an amazing bird. Yeah. The distance yeah. they travel. How many come in? Be Rocky? careful. They all, it's an estimate, they estimate 23 million. Rocky told us about the down, the beak, and the webbed feet. There you go, there's his feet. And then we put the bird back in the burrow. In he goes, there he goes. Because if you sit down and look out through here, get on a mutton bed island and do it. Elders and other community members show us how to do the things our people have always done. Flying towards that moon. We dance, we listen to stories, and write and sing songs. And they thought that the we love learning about our culture. They'd flown to the moon and back. Yeah. And I'll sing you the song that Diane wrote in tribute to, to Errol. When the moon fell away from the face of the earth, it left the moon bird behind. No one to sing the song of the moon bird to you, so your family will sing you back home. We'll walk the path of the moon bird, the mountains will touch the sky. Take you back. Again, where the song line of the moon birds will lie. Your ancestors, they will wait for you. Your family will be by your side to take you back to your home once again, where the song line of the moon birds will lie. The moon bird, the mountains will touch the sky, take you back to your own once again. Where the
the song line of the moon bird. Too. 